as leaders have you ever made these three common mistakes when it comes to coaching your own team now after spoken to some leaders in a coaching conversation i realized that these common mistakes keep on repeating over and over again and what are these common mistakes and how do you handle them if you want to be an effective leader Number one is sometimes you may receive some pressure from external stakeholders to make sure to get things done fast in a certain time frame. And this will cause you giving advice to your employees to tell them what to do and how to do it fast. So by adopting that advice approach, it may not be an effective solution for them. Why? Because you are taking away the autonomy from your employees from making their own decisions to handle that situation. So in the end, they may be over-reliant and dependent on you whenever a new decision needs to be made. As a result, they may not be able to learn and grow as an employee. Instead, you can ask powerful questions and guide them along the way. For example, you may ask, given in that situation, what would you do next? How would you handle this situation differently? By asking powerful questions, you're actually passing back the autonomy to them to make their own judgment decisions and tell you what they should do. And as a result, they will feel being valuable as an employee. Number two is sometimes when leaders get busy with their work, they may treat coaching as a one-time event. That means they will wait for the right moment to coach the team whenever there's an issue arises. And this may not be effective because coaching is an ongoing process of support and development for your employees. It needs to be integrated as part of your work so that you can get real-time feedback from your employees to understand how are things going on in their work. Are they facing any obstacles along the way? They may stop them from achieving their goal. So do remember that coaching needs to be done on a regular basis instead of a one-time event. Number three is during a coaching conversation as leaders, you may be excited to share about your wisdom and expertise to them. But somehow you are dominating the conversation and spend most of the time talking instead of listening to your employees. And this may cause a significant impact to them. Why? Because they will not be feel heard about their own opinions and perspectives of how to handle that situations. So instead, you can take a step back and practice active listening. That means you can spend most of the time listen instead of talking in the coaching conversation so that your employees will feel respected and also gain trust from you and dare to speak up and raise their own opinions and perspectives in addressing that situation. I hope this video is useful for you to have an understanding of what are the three common mistakes that leaders are making in a coaching conversation and how do you handle them differently. In order to have an effective coaching conversation, it is important for leaders to practice active listening because it helps to build relationship and trust with your own employees and they will be more willing to speak up their concerns sharing their own perspectives and opinions in the situation if you want to know how leaders can practice active listening in the workplace i put up this video over here you can watch it and understand what are the ways to become an active listener so that it can make you an effective leader. And that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.